what I want to do is I want to spend some time looking at FX Factory. FX Factory is both a development engine and a marketing agency for smaller developers to create and sell their software. It has an easy to use interface. There are hundreds of plugins to choose from, and it's available for free from their website. The cool thing about FX Factory is that it supports Final Cut 10, Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. And prices range for the plugins that FX Factory supports from free to $99, and most of them are $49 or less. This is FX Factory. It's the latest version, and it's downloaded for free from their website at fxfactory.com. There's a number of tabs across the top, featured plugins, their entire catalog of plugins. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Those that are installed on your computer, they may be disabled, still installed, means they've been downloaded, and products that have updates. You can search for a variety of things, but I want to go back to the catalog. The catalog groups plugins by manufacturer. This is FX Factory or Noise Industries. And look at the variety of companies and the variety of plugins that are available. There are literally hundreds of plugins that are available using FX Factory. And the cool thing is, whether you're running Premiere or Final Cut 10, Motion or After Effects, you can use the plugins. I'm still not at the bottom of this. I mean, there's just so many to choose from. Now let's go back up to the top. Notice here, if I wanted to find out information about a plugin, I just have to click on it and it automatically takes me to information about the plugin. It downloads some preview information and allows me to decide whether I want to download a trial. Most of these have free trials associated and I'll be using some of the free trials today. Notice the white checkbox. The white checkbox means that I've downloaded the plugin and I've installed it on my system. If I decide that I want to uninstall it, I just uncheck the checkbox. When the checkbox is checked, my video editing application, Premiere or Final Cut, can access it, and when it's unchecked, it can't. This makes it easy to swap in or swap out the plugins that you want to use at that particular time. FX Factory has been around for a long time, and they've continued to grow in terms of the companies and the plugins that they support. And the cool thing that I like about it is that you can sample them without having to spend a lot of money. And the other thing is I've talked to a lot of the developers that develop for FX Factory, the Stupid Raisins and the Ripple Trainings of the world. And these generally are one, two, or three-person shops that don't have the marketing resources to reach the larger market. FX Factory benefits both us in being able to provide plugins and the plugin developers by providing a marketing platform so everybody wins. Um, anyway, it's a cool product, cool company, and you can download for free and just play. So let's play. Let's switch over to Final Cut Pro 10 and let's start with a really cool utility that we've all wanted and never knew existed. Hold the control key down and right mouse click directly on the time code indicator and show the time code window. This is a plugin from FX Factory and best of all, it's free. As I move my playhead around inside a clip, I've got this big window that shows me what the time code looks like. Or if I'm skimming up here, I can see what the time code looks like. Hang on, let me turn my speaker off because I'm not going to use audio at all today. This ability to see what our time code looks like and, and to see it in, oh, and, then, and then watch this. If I right mouse click on the time code indicator, I can change the time code color. Or, let's just, we'll pick blue for the moment. Right click, I can change the background color into something that I, I feel is, is much more appropriate. I think a, a radioactive green is entirely wrong. All right, so let's just set this. Hmm, I'm going to click here and just pick this medium dark gray and make it look like the, the time code box is the exact same color of Final Cut. Isn't that cool? That's neat. I like that. And to make it go away, just click the X in the top left corner. If you're working on a two-monitor setup, you can drag the time code indicator over to the second monitor so you've got Final Cut's interface on the main monitor and, and pieces on the second. Really neat. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at useful plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 177. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money.
You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.